How's it going everyone welcome back to the channel if you haven't already please subscribe smash that notification bell and give me a thumbs up because i'm pretty confident you guys are going to enjoy this well hopefully you will so this is a clutch pairing or clutch number thank you lexi this is clutch number 10 i'm joined by paul from pmc and his daughter lexi uh, so this pairing is a fire ivory pied 100 head clown to a gene x double het female so uh, as you can see we've got some pippers we are probably i want to say three days early and as you can see we've got one pipping and two definitely pipped so we're going to cut these and go straight in everything should be yellow belly so that's the, that that's taken so hopefully we're going to get some clown pides uh, yellow belly clown pods, gene x fire yellow belly clown pods but wow so this is just a pied but when i say just a pied it's posset clown but look at the difference what gene x and yellow belly does gene x and yellow belly together is wow no okay there's leopard in this as well so that means dad is actually a leopard fire ivory pied 100% head claim so that's that's fantastic so that is a leopard yellow belly gene x posset claim 66% that's that's a good start so now we've proved out dad has actually got another gene in him which is fantastic the only downside to this clutch is there's fire and now we know there's leopard it could make high white claim pieds which you know I, I i like claim pieds i work with them um but a lot of people, including myself, I do like the low white, the low white pods. So that's going to be a yellow belly, 100% hep pied, posset clown, possible gene X. We'll have a look at that when it comes out. So that's a leopard yellow belly clown, 100% hep pied, which again, it's great odds having that ivory in there because we know everything is going to be yellow belly could be fire in there as well but for now i'm just going to label that as a uh, leopard yellow belly clown in fact it does look quite light so i would say it's a strong possibility there is fire in that one as well okay so that's a pied it's a low white pied high white pied sorry so there's obviously yellow belly in there because it's so high white or yeah high white sorry yeah probably is a fire yellow belly pied don't know if it's clown you won't know until it starts sticking its head out so we'll see so here we have another pied and again that is a leopard I don't know it's definitely it's a gene x that's a gene x yellow belly pied sorry guys and i can see the gene x influence in the pattern there and as you can see gene x gives it more of a head stamp as well which is uh which is awesome And that is another what looks to be it doesn't look like a clown pied but it does look like it is obviously a yellow belly i would say yellow belly fired gene x pied so there we have it guys um great little clutch some powerful animals there obviously uh we were looking for a clown pied in the clutch but like i said the odds were against us but it is what it is. So here is the update video for clutch number 10. Fire ivory pied heck clown to a gene X double heck clown pied. Now we know now the male is actually a leopard fire ivory pied 
head clown. So I'm going to show you the babies and what's fantastic about this clutch. I'm also going to be able to show, to show you uh, the difference GeneX actually makes. Um, and for me, I think it's it's an un, a very underrated gene. So the first animal we're going to look at is this GeneX yellow belly 100% hepoid posset clown. Now we know that this is a yellow belly because the dad is an ivory, so that's a no-brainer. Well, I know there's Gene X in this because Gene X is typical. It gives this pattern. Gene X gives this pattern along here, and also it fights with the yellow belly. So normally yellow belly, yellow belly will separate and do this sort of thing, okay? But Gene X kind of stops that and puts the pattern more uniform. Okay, so that is a Gene X Yellow Belly 100% Hepoid Posset Clown. And again, we can have a look at the belly. Okay, this one is a boy. So this little boy will be up for grabs. Gene X Yellow Belly 100% Hepoid Posset Clown. The next animal we're gonna look at is this stunning yellow belly gene x um, now i know this gene x in this animal because gene x adds more pattern to the bottom half of the animal which is i, I see that in a lot of gene x animals um, again gene x tends to bring back more of the pattern so you get more saddles more pattern uh, especially when you've got a, a high pattern, uh, a high white snake or a gene that will make a high white pied, um, Gene X will help bring that back. So that's a yellow belly Gene X pied uh, pus het clown, 66% het clown. Uh, let's just see if it's male or female. So that is a little boy. The next animal I'm going to show you doesn't have Gene X, and this is a leopard yellow belly pied posset clown. Now, fantastic animal, great looking animal as well. Um, leopard can create a high white pied, and that's why it would have been nice to have Gene X in this because then it would have brought back a lot of the pattern. But what a fantastic head stamp, as you can see, just there. Beautiful looking animal. Again, posset clown. So that is another male. So the next animal we're gonna look at is this fire leopard yellow belly pied posset clown. And again, we know fire and leopard together create a high white pied. You've still got some of the saddles on this. As I said, there is no gene X in this. Otherwise you definitely would have more pattern but again, nice little tail. Um, yeah, high wide pods back in the day were the ones to go for. A lot of people like the uh, the low wide pods now because you get more pattern, but this boy or girl is very unique, unique head stamp. So let's just see if it's a boy or a girl. So this is a girl. Again, Posset Clown. Fantastic female beautiful so these last two I'm going to share with you are two of my favorites from the clutch I'm not gonna lie um, I'm gonna leave the, the one till last so this is a fire yellow belly gene X pied posset clown and just look what gene X has done gene X will bring back most of the pattern now what I loved about this one when I, I did share this on my patreon but you imagine like if this was a monsoon pied I think that's what I would expect for a monsoon pied to look like if not better but that for me is a fantastic looking animal again it's posset clown 66% head clown but just look at the pattern look at the colors we've got yellow belly we've got fire we've got gene x and uh, yeah, that's all in a pied. So what a fantastic animal. Let's just see if this is male or female. 
So that is a female, gorgeous female. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep her or not, but yeah, what a fantastic animal. And again, just highlighting simple genes, but making sure you have some ingredients in there like Gene X, which gives you this overall look. It's definitely one of my favorites from the clutch, if not the favorite from the clutch. Amazing. The last one from this clutch, and the only clown, obviously we didn't hit a clown pied, but that's okay because we got some belters in there, is this boy. This is a yellow belly fire leopard, 100% het pied clown. And again, possible gene X, I'm not sure. I've never hit this sort of combination. Um, so a very, very beautiful looking animal. Love the head stamp on this boy. So fire, yellow belly, leopard, possible gene X, clown, 100% het pied, because dad was a pied. But just look at that. I mean, love the, it's got a little uh, a ringer on it as well. Now with this being a boy, unfortunately, I won't be keeping him. He will be going. But just, oh, I wish so much this was a female. This is what I would have kept if it was a female. Obviously, all a clown pied, but just a beautiful animal. And again, fantastic project to be working in. Really, really happy. So there you have it, guys. Clutch 10. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you haven't already and you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It does help. Also, give me a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. And uh, leave a comment in the comment box below. Which one is your favourite? What would you add? How's your season going? So guys, I hope you're all well. Thanks again for all the support. Take care. And I will see you guys in the next one.